work them on a system by an external forces. Work is energy transfer to or from a system by means of an external force acting on that system. This is an isolated system. You have a work done, this is positive. On the other side, if the system do some work, so it is negative. This is an isolated system. Without external force to work done, the energy can mechanical energy conserved. This is equal to zero. But if we have an external force acting to do work to the one, then the mechanical energy changes. If no friction involved, I don't see the work done by the external force equal the mechanical change of this isolated system, which is equal to delta K plus delta U. Now let's look at the situation in which friction involved. A block move on the force, constant force F and the friction, move displacement D from V0 to V. We know F minus Fk equal to Ma. This is Newton's second law. If we multiply displacement D on both sides, we get Fd minus Fkd equal to Mad. Now we let's look at what the Mad is. What is? This is a constant acceleration movement. So we have V square equal to V zero square plus two Ad. We multiply half m on both sides, we get this is the, the final state kinetic energy. This is the in the initial state kinetic energy. And this term, half and two cancel out MAD, is this one. So MAD equal to half mv squared minus half mv zero squared. And we re rewrite this formula, we move this one over. MAD is half mv squared minus half mv zero squared, and plus FKD. And we know this is theta k of the block. And in general case, there will be a potential energy change involved. So we extend this one we replace delta E mechanics, we get Ft equal delta E mechanics plus Fkd. That's not the end. Let's look at this term. By experiment, we find that the blocks and the portion of the floor along which it slides became warmer as block slides. Through so experiment, we find that the increase in thermal energy during the sliding delta E thermal is equal to the product of the magnitude Fk and D. That is, delta E thermal equal F dot D. And then we rewrite the above equation. F dot D equal delta E mechanics plus F dot D. We replace this one by delta E thermal. So it works no good. Uh, F dot D equal to mechanic energy change and thermal energy change. Here, F dot D is the work W done by the external force, the energy transfer by the force on the block flow system. This formula, you have to remember this one. This is a W. Sample. A foot shipper pushes a wood crate of cabbage heads, total mass M 14 kg, across a concrete floor with a constant horizontal force F of magnitude 40N. In a straight line displacement of magnitude D, 0.50 meter, the speed of the crate decreases from V0.60 meter per second to V.50 
0.20 meter per second. Question A. How much work is done by force F? And on what system does it do the work? The work done by the force is easy, but definition F dot D is F D cosine phi. In this case, F is 40 Newton, D is 0 0.50 meter, and the angle is zero. So we put this number inside, we get a 20 jaw. This work definitely done on the system of a cray floor system. It changed kinetic energy of the cray. It make the heat for them. Question B. What is the increasement delta E delta in the thermal energy of the crate and the floor? We know the work done by the force equal two part, delta E mechanic and delta E thermal. Delta E mechanics equal its final kinetic energy minus initial kinetic energy. In, the, in our case, no put, potential energy involved. This is what we want to find. So delta E theta equal to W minus delta E mechanic. We just then calculate the W. Okay. And this is a mechanic, kinetic energy change. We put all the number inside. This is a 20 joule. It's half M ticked out. And V final is 20. V initials. 6.60, we get 22.2 jaw. Uh, we take two significant uh, figures, so we drop this point to get 22 jaw. 